Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to create Azure Virtual Network and Subnet with the help of the PowerShell. So let's get started. So right now we are on our Azure portal and if we go to the resource group, it is empty. In order to connect with the Azure account, you should have a tenant ID. You can see the tenant properties here. If I go and click there, you can see the tenant ID. This will help me to connect with the Azure account. So let's open the PowerShell, connect Azure account, iPhone, tenant ID and here the tenant ID name. I need this tenant ID. So I'll copy this and I will paste it here and will hit enter asking for the credentials and now we are connected with our Azure account. Let's first of all create the resource group and for that we will type the command let new az resource group name for the resource group will be let's put that rg10 and the location the location will be east us hit enter. Now the resource group has been created. Now let's create a virtual network. I will say dollar my vnet. I will give the name as my vnet 01 and is equal to new is your virtual network and the resource group name will be that is RG10 which we have created just now. The location will be again the East US and the name for my VNet will be my VNet 01 and the address prefix will be let's do that 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Let's hit enter. We are getting an error. So there is an error with this command let I have to put here the name that is a name my VNet 01. Parameter cannot be found that matches parameter name my vnet the name was missing here let's try to hit enter now so the virtual network has been created let's verify it by running the command let get azure virtual network name my vnet 01 which we have created just now so it is there my vnet 01 east us and inside the resource group rg10 and the address prefix is 10.0.0 slash 16 so it is created so now let's create a subnet for this and for that we will set it as dollar my subnet 01 and it will be equals to add virtual network subnet config let's say the name and the name will be my subnet 01 address prefix i will put it as 10.0.10.0 10 24 and the virtual network dollar my vnet 01 which we have created earlier so let's hit enter you can see the warning upcoming breaking changes in the command let there is an upcoming breaking change in this command let you can go to this link if you want to check the changes for this command let right now it worked or not let's confirm that so in order to confirm that let's run this command let get az virtual network subnet config the name of my subnet 01 and the virtual network dollar my vnet 01 so if i hit enter you can see it is created the subnet my subnet 01 is created and the address prefix is 10.0.10.0 slash 24 so our vnet has been created our subnet has been created so let's try to associate the subnet configuration to the virtual network and for that we have dollar my subnet 01 pipe set azure virtual network let's hit enter so our vnet has been created our subnet has been created and we have associated our subnet with the vnet so if i go and refresh here we have a resource group rg10 and inside that we have have a my vnet 01 virtual network and if we go to the subnet you can see my subnet 01 that is 10.0.10.0 slash 24 if we want to add new subnet for example we want to add my subnet 02 let's go to the powershell again we already have created our vnet so we need to just create the second subnet for that i will run this command let dollar my subnet 02 add az virtual network subnet config and the name is my subnet 02 and the address prefix is this time is 10.0.20.0 and the virtual network name will be dollar my vnet 01 so let me run this command let again we have same uh, warning like upcoming breaking changes in the command let and now associate this subnet with the our virtual network we will run the command let again dollar my subnet 02 set az virtual network and if i hit enter you can see it is created so let's refresh here you can see my subnet 02 and the ip range is 10.0.20.0 so it is created same way you can create a machine and associate with the each of this subnet as we did in a last video i hope the video was useful and now you know how you can create a virtual network and subnet with the help of the powershell
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर अपकमिंग वीडियोज ऑन एज योर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सचेंज पावर सेल स्क्रिप्टिंग एंड हाइब्रिड सर्वर कन्फिग्रेशन